Asia Pacific trade is the future for the economy of British Columbia. But when you move freight through communities, it causes great difficulties for motorists. And so these grade separations, these overpasses are critical to ensuring that that freight can continue to move, but the people who live in communities still have their quality of life, aren't dealing with the kind of congestion that that rail traffic could bring. It's so important if we want to diversify the markets into which our Canadian businesses can sell, that we also put in place the appropriate transportation infrastructure to allow us to get our goods out to market and to import goods into Canada in the most efficient manner. We're really marking the sort of one of the key projects in the Roberts Bank Rail Corridor, which is part of the Asia Pacific Gateway Program or the Pacific Gateway Program. And in combination, that alone is $700 million of investment that both helps improve goods movement in and out of the port, but also very importantly, as really we're seeing with the project here today, creates the better movement of traffic around the lower mainland. It moves roads over the railway. It means commuters can get to work more easily. People can move around their local communities more easily. But as well, we can get larger, longer, trains into the port carrying more cargo. This rail line alone serves Canada's largest container terminal and Canada's largest coal terminal. Huge drivers of the economy all across the country. And so the project here today is a fantastic one to be celebrating because it's going to improve the efficiency of access to those terminals, improve Canada's imports, improve Canada's exports, generate jobs and improve the flow of goods, the flow of traffic around the local community, improving quality of life.